welcome to Miso Tarot's weekly tarot and oracle reading for the first week of January 2015. Happy New Year. Welcome back. A um, couple things I want to mention right off the bat. Tonight, it is Sunday, January 4th. I'm doing this reading a little bit late. My apologies. <laughs> but um, uh, I didn't want to put too many videos out in a row. And I hope you caught the um, how to complete the New Year video that I put out on January 1st. And uh, just watch that. That's some, just only a, a smidgen of what I do to close off the year and bring in the new year. The other thing that I want to mention is that I'm back at the flea market this Sunday. And it's a great time to get a reading uh, for the new year, find out what's coming up. And I'll be there from 8 to 3 p.m. as usual. Uh, I want to thank Dee because she was my very first tarot party of the year yesterday and we did seven readings. It was a beautiful day. I met some really great people. I want to thank everybody that was a part of that day. And um, the other thing that I want to mention is our very first Mercury retrograde is coming up January 21st. Um, so Mercury retrograde is not a bad thing. It just means slow it down. Slow down, take your time, make deliberate, intentional steps. Uh, so if you're planning on launching anything, if you're planning on doing anything new at that time, um, just make sure that you have all your I's dotted and T's crossed. Want to go back to the full moon, that's tonight. Uh, it's in the star sign of Cancer, which rules our emotions. <laughs> Cancer is actually a caregiver sign. It's also about nurturing, it's about femininity, whether you're a boy or a girl. It's about emotion so this, and our stability and security. So a lot of these things are coming up for us as we go along. And especially because it's the new year, we're making maybe resolutions and such. I don't really make resolutions, I make goals. There's a difference. Resolutions, nobody seems to follow through with. Goals, you can break down step by step. So I, I invite you to watch the uh, completion um, video again. Okay, so let's get to the cards. I'm excited. Okay. Seven of Wands. So, Seven of Wands, I've told you before, I love this girl. She stands her ground. She's a warrior. <laughs> she has worked really hard, and she is going to defend where she's coming from. So, Seven of Wands, Wands bring fire, passion, this is about relationships, this is about just uh, ambition and workplace scenarios. So, this is standing your ground. If there is an issue, you need to make your stance clear and be very confident in it, and then you will be able to move along in the best way possible for a win-win situation for everybody. <clears throat> okay, well, <laughs> middle of the week, Five of Swords, that's a conflict, confrontation. Um, and the Five of Swords, there's always one person there and two people walking away. Kind of came up reverse, but um, when I was doing these, uh, when I was pulling these out, because I'm in a different kind of location today, I went to a different park today because I needed the cover because it is raining really hard in Vancouver today. There was supposed to be snow, but um, it just seems to be raining really hard. Um, the Five of Swords. So this is about our intellect, our thought process, about how people treat us. Um, it's about asking questions. So if someone confronts you about something, you've got to stand your ground, but you've got to really think about where you're coming from. Is it worth it to lose their friendship or relationship? Um, because of whatever's coming up, right? So is there a little way that you can maybe um, compromise? The other thing that's coming up is there's the moon there again, recognizing femininity. Um, the other thing for me is that there's a big wave in the background. I'm gonna try and show you that to you. Um, and that's a big wave of emotion. So people are going to be pushing our buttons with this full moon, with the cancer. Emotions are running high. That's where I told you, I noticed a couple weeks ago where people were going a little bit mental. Uh, it's going to continue because this full moon's a doozy. Like, I'm telling you. And it's been screwing with my sleep patterns and stuff like that. And I hope that you're sleeping all right. But make sure that you tune into yourself. And it might be good to just take a step back 
and not actually deal with anybody for a little while. Call it your quiet time or what have you. Okay, <laughs> hangman. That's all about meditation, reevaluation. This is about assessing your next step. So you're not moving ahead and you're not moving behind. You're just staying in one spot. And I actually quite like the handman because it's a moment in time where things kind of stand still. And you get a minute to collect your thoughts. It's a time where you really make your choices for the foundation for your future. And this is an important part, especially in the first week of January. So take some time to meditate upon your new goals for 2015, where you want to be, and all of these um, all of these cards actually have blue for communication. They all have water in them as well. So it's going to be a highly emotionally charged week this week. Listen to your inner wisdom. And you got, got it covered. So let's check out the uh, oracle cards. Balance. So balance. This card is obviously you want to balance your emotions. Your If you're working too much or not working at all, you want to do whatever it is. You want to uh, sleep enough. You want to exercise. You want to eat healthy. But it's also about the balance of giving and receiving for relationships. Finally, we're learning how to do so. When we stand up for ourselves in the way we want to be treated, that's when some people get pissed off and they might want to walk away because you've been letting them walk all over you for a long time. But we're finally learning how to balance the giving and receiving. So if you're in a balanced relationship, that's okay. If it's unbalanced, what can you do to fix it, right? So that's where the reassessment time comes in. I don't feel that it's time to like drop people like right away or anything like that. But it is uh, a time of reevaluation, to say the least. And then finally, we've got um, the last oracle card, and it is stay focused. Stay focused on your dreams, my friend. <laughs> stay focused. Uh, the word that I chose for this year is perseverance. <laughs> Maybe it's a tough word. But, you know what, I was watching a documentary last night on Joan Rivers, and uh, may you rest in peace Joan Rivers, and, but she was dedicated, day in and day out. She got up, she did her job, where's my next thing coming from, where's my next job coming from? She said, I will do anything that comes my way, and you know what, when you're there, when you put yourself out in the spotlight, when you stay focused on what you desire, you will get your chances. She had a life, it, she had a iconic career, you know? So where do you want to be? Stay focused on your goals, write them down, set your intentions. It's an important time of the year and uh, set that up before the Mercury retrograde goes into effect. Anyways, um, oh, and I just wanted to mention one last thing to uh, Pooh 335 I got your message that, um, last week that you listened to my um, video and you avoided something. I'm so happy that you actually listened to your own gut instinct. So this is an important time to listen to your own gut, research things, reassess things, and question the things that maybe seem a little bit off. So I'm so happy and proud of you that you did that. And I want to wish everybody a very happy uh, beginning of 2015. And I will be seeing you very shortly for uh, the new year video, okay? And it's going to be a longer video, so I'm going to do that in the next couple of days, and I'll see you in the inbox. Okay, take care on the next video.